my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So I got another Makeup Geek order. Whoop, whoop. So when I did the previous order on some of the things that had come out with Makeup Geek, they didn't have it in stock, which were these little goodies right here. And then I've been using the eyelashes. I've got a pair on right now. Love them so much. I went ahead and bought a second set of each of the eyelashes. Then they went back in time and brought back the Vegas Collection Palette. So let's talk about these. I am, when you get in the video, a little further in the video, you are going to hear me talk about the two makeup sponges. So I have dampened these and used these. And because I'm a makeup geek, makeup geek, and I have to have a full collection, I still wanted some in the box. Yes, I'm a geek. I admit it. So I wanted to add this to my makeup geek collection back there and just for purposes of display. Mm -hmm. Make fun, laugh, I'm okay with it. So anyways, you're going to see kind of me use both these sponges and both of them are fantastic for two different reasons. Although you could use one or the other depending on how you like the sponges. So both of these are really good. Um, they don't absorb to the level they expand 20 million times their actual size. So it's not that kind of sponge, but it's also not the type of sponge that is so hard you feel like, how, is it even working because it's so hard? Oh my gosh, pouncing it into my skin feels odd. I've had them way too soft and I've had them way too hard and I don't really like those. So as the three bears, this one is just right. Now, as far as both of them goes, I love the, the definition in here that makes it easy to hold them. So when I'm using this one, I hold it this way and pounce all over the skin. You'll see that in a moment. This one for women that are aging or have wrinkles right here like I do. Mm -hmm. This little guy is phenomenal. So I love this one. I'm okay using both because this I want for my foundation or contour. This one I am in love with. I just am in love with this sponge and here's why. So because I have wrinkles really bad right in here, actually right along here, some of the times I have issues when I'm putting on my contour, I have to twist it to get it in the wrinkles. This one has kind of a diamond like shape and it goes boop, right in there. So I don't have to twist the the beauty blender to get it to work with my wrinkles it just goes in and pounces in amazing so i really love this one um i really love both of them for different reasons so i'm keeping both actually i'm keeping more than both since i have those other ones for my display then let's talk about the eyelashes so in her video she mentions that her eyelashes basically you can use several times. Today I'm using this pair right here called Graceful. I love her lashes. Her lashes at first kind of scared me because they have a thick band. I am not a thick band kind of person. I like a thin band. However, these lashes are arched just perfect. I can pop these babies on and go. Like it doesn't take a lot of work to get her eyelashes on. So even though they have a thicker band, which is something I don't prefer, I think I now prefer them because again, it they just hold their shape really well. And she mentioned you can use them multiple times and I am testing that out as far as multiple times. So I've got one pair called, I think it's Elegant. Uh, did I drop it? I didn't pull up all of these. Uh, I think it's maybe Charmer that I'm using. Uh, I've used them several times. They're not losing their shape, y'all. They're like keeping their shape. They're popping on. There's, you know, sometimes when you use eye eyelashes multiple times, they start kind of fraying. They're not, they're looking a little janky as you use them more and more. So far, these haven't. So very, very excited. So today I'm trying a new one but I'm just seeing how many uses I can get out of all of them, which is pretty exciting. Next, we're gonna talk about the Makeup Geek Vegas collection. So when I started collecting Makeup Geek a couple years ago, I had known that they had this palette, but it had been before my time, so she no longer sold it. 
I went on eBay to find it and you know it just I mean that's how much of a makeup geek geek I am is I wanted to keep my collection whole so I went out on eBay to find even a used one I know don't judge couldn't find one that I was thrilled with or that I'd want to add to my collection so I just wrote it up with I'm not going to have a full collection then they brought this one back and it's called Vegas Lights and so let's get into this little bad boy. I like that it's small so that you can travel with it which is important. The size of the mirror is really good. In fact, I think I used it in the video as I was doing my makeup just because it's a nice size mirror. Love that. The colors are Casino, Sin City, Roulette, Mirage, Desert Sands, and Bada Bing. I have all six colors on my eyes right now. So you're going to see how I created this eye look in just a moment. I really, really like this palette. None of the colors had um, a ton of fallout, which is important to me. I don't mind a little bit of fallout. I abhor a lot of fallout. So I also like that the colors are very pigmented. They go on super nice, super easy. So you're going to see that in a second. Very excited. Thank you, Marlena and team, for bringing back the Vegas lights because I didn't have that as part of my collection and it has weighed heavy on my heart because if you want to see how I created this eye look, you're in the right spot. Okay, so, so I got tuned. my new Makeup Geek sponge wet and... I just put a little dab on the sponge with the real, I think it's real techniques. I've used so many different sponges. Don't quote me on this piece, but sometimes, you know, when you get the sponges wet, they like grow 20 times their original size, 20 times an exaggeration. So as far as using this Makeup Geek sponge, it is not growing 20 times. I am liking how this sponge works and here's why a i did get it wet which a lot of you guys know i don't i've mentioned in some of my other videos i typically don't get the sponges wet i just i don't know i feel like they work better either that or maybe because when they get 20 times their original size i just feel like there's too much water what i like about this sponge is when you get it wet or damp it doesn't get huge but it also feels like it doesn't over absorb water so I feel like with this sponge you get what you're supposed to get which is a good sponge to help pounce in the foundation already like that the other thing that I like is this little gripping piece so let me grab one of my other nasty sponges this is clean believe it or not but it doesn't have a place to grip. This one, you can grip. And so I freaking love the fact that, like, I just feel like I have more control with this versus this. And that just feels great. So the sponge, what I like about this also is it's not too squishy, which I do like how, how soft some of the sponges can be. But it's not so hard where you... Like, I've had some that are super hard, and it's kind of, to me, useless to try to use it because the sponge is too hard. And then I have some that are so soft, they just, like, melt in your skin like a pillow. Um, this one is kind of a really good in-between, both of those. So now, and you can use this for the inside of your, the, your eye, but this little guy, very much like the one that I just showed, has a spot for you to hold. And I'm loving that spot you can hold, y'all. But this one is kind of diamond shaped. So let me, let, let's put on some concealer and let me show you why I like this one. If you're getting older, maybe like me, you have wrinkles under your eyes. And this little guy with the diamond shape, oh my gosh, it like totally gets in that little corner. And it really gets in you know, kind of my wrinkles, which is amazing. Other sponges, and I, I'm i sure you've probably seen it in some of my other videos, but I tend to do this when I get to the corner of my eye because I'm trying to get in there. Um, I got wrinkles, y'all, and that's not fun. But this little guy, because of the diamond shape, gets all up in that little spot for me, and I love it. I'm just really digging the fact that this diamond one goes in 
to my little wrinkles in the corner and I don't have to twist. I do really love this diamond one. I'm sure that I could use this as a foundation and as a, you know, kind of concealer. I do like having both of them. I really like both of them for different reasons. So for me, using two different sponges isn't a big deal. This one I think would get in my corners, but I think I'd have to do the twisty thing where this one I don't. And then I guess because concealer is so much lighter, I really like having two different sponges anyways. But holy crud. So y'all, I have like no creasing where I have to go, mm, 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 you know, in the corner. And that's a very technical sound. Mm, mm, mm. I freaking love it. Okay, so today is day two of using the Vegas Lights palette. So I used it yesterday and really liked it. So we have Casino, Sin City, Roulette, Mirage, Desert Sands, and Bada Bing. And we'll go through this little bad boy. And let me grab one of my Makeup Geek brushes. Although, I have 20 million of these. Maybe not 20 million. And I got to do a brush cleaning because I'm almost out. All right, so we're going to start out with some Mirage up underneath the brow bone and the interior of the eye. I really love this color Desert Sands. I love that kind of, I have a coach purse that's like this and it just, it's kind of that camel color and it just makes my heart sing. Obviously, I don't sing good. I can't hold a tune. My husband reminds me of that often. I just love this color and as you can see there's not a lot of fallout which I love love love. You guys know that about me because I'm just a freak when it comes to hating fallout. All right I'm gonna use this painterly paint pot on some kind of cheap flat brush. Technical term cheap flat brush. So y'all excited about the holiday season? Have you noticed people are a lot nicer during the holiday season? Why can't the holiday season stay year-round? I think I'll do Sin City today. So I'm going to take it on the other side of that flat brush. I like how this has just a tad bit of a peach shift underneath, which I think is just really pretty. Okay, then with the color Casino, I'm going to go just a little bit with that. It's more yellow, so I'm just going to kind of go in a little bit further. Next, I'm going to take a outer V brush with this color Bada Bing. So we're going to outer V the Bada Bing. And as you can tell, they are pigmented, which is fun. I kind of really quit doing that. It's annoying. Yesterday, I took a bit of this roulette and I went kind of right in that little corner that I made with the V. Next, I'm gonna take Marc Jacobs Brownie Pencil. So I did the inner water line, and then I took the pencil just a little bit on the lash line. Taking the fluffy brush that I used, I'm gonna pick up the Bada Bing and smudge out that Marc Jacobs Brownie. And I'm not going quite all the way down on the inside on my lash line into the inner corner. Okay, the brush that I used roulette on, I'm going to pick back up and I'm just going to kind of go a little bit below Bada Bing. All right, so we're going to finish it up with some eyelashes and let's see what kind of lashes we want to use today. I think I want to use the Graceful from Makeup Geek. And <laughs> Graceful, I am not. I am like a herd of buffalo walking through the house. Oh my gosh. Have you guys seen the movie Ghost where Whippy, 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 Whippy Goldberg is walking across the street and she's all dressed up and she's in those heels. She kind of looks like a pit bull walking with heels on because she's not used to it. I've been wearing heels a long time, and Whoopi can uh, outdoes me in the heel category. I not only look like a pit bull walking in heels, which is very sexy, but 
I sound like a herd of buffalo. The other thing I like about these eyelashes from Marlena is they pop on relatively easy. Like you don't have to mess with them a lot and I like that. I do have these little tweezer things from Tarte. If you guys are new to wearing eyelashes, I definitely recommend um, getting these. They're just, I, I like the curve that this has, so it kind of just naturally picks up the, the curve of the eyelash, which is fantastic. And then you kind of just line up the middle of the lashes with the middle of your your eyelash, your false eyelashes, and just pop them babies on, which is another technical term. Pop those babies Thank you so on. much for watching this video, doing a review on the Vegas Lights Palette by Makeup Geek. Also, some of my thoughts on her recent eyelashes, which are amazing. And, of course, we use both of her sponges. So, I'm hoping that the tutorial and the commentary help you with your buying needs. If you have any um, thoughts, questions, concerns, etc., please put those below. I love interacting with my YouTube audience. And I thank you all so much for your support. It's been a wonderful two years. With that being said, you know what I'm going to say next. It's up to you. So, let's make it a great one. Until next time.